Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be another speed paint for Mermaid. Mermaid is during the month of May, you draw a mermaid every day. I've been super enjoying Mermaid this month. Um, I've been doing a lot of live streams, so if you haven't seen them already, definitely check them out. They're all on my channel. You can still watch the replay. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you click the bell icon so you get notified when I'm going to go live because I go live kind of sporadically. <laughs> it's uh, It hasn't been exactly one set time or day. I've just kind of been going live whenever I can. So um, yeah, definitely make sure you are subscribed and so you get notified so you can join us the next live stream. I've been really enjoying that. I've been drawing... Uh, I've been coloring in the live streams all of these mermaids that I started last month and it's been going really well But I really wanted to do a you know speed paint video before mermaids over of like one big illustration of a mermaid So that everybody can watch even if they don't have time to watch a live stream So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video I wanted to do something different too because I've been using a lot of marker this month and I was thinking to myself, I kind of wanted to try out a different medium. And it's been a while since I used colored pencils. So my plan going into this one was I wanted to use tone tan paper and color pencils and draw a mermaid. Something kind of simple, but kind of fun. I know that color pencils can be kind of tough to use. They just take a really long time compared to something like a marker or watercolor. But uh, it's been a while since I used them. I do love my color pencils. So I wanted to kind of um, see what I could do with it. and. There's something really amazing about tone tan paper with color pencils that it just it makes it so much more fun somehow. So I wanted to do that. That was the plan going into this drawing. But honestly, I don't know what happened with this one, but all of the plans I had set for myself, I just completely forgot as soon as I started doing the actual drawing. So that was the original plan. But by the time I finished, I ended up using mostly marker. And the simple drawing ended up being a lot more complicated and full scale than I was anticipating whatsoever. But I still really like how it turned out. So first when it came to the sketching, I was just trying to draw a, a mermaid with like a really nice shape. That's like my favorite thing to do when I draw mermaids is give them a really interesting shape, something very flowy. But I had recently finished drawing the octopus mermaid from my live stream. If you haven't seen that one, I will leave a link in the iCard. I really loved how that one turned out and it was so much fun although the tentacles were so much work like it was a lot of work and it was really straining on my wrist but there was something about it that just made me want to keep drawing octopus mermaids like crazy so that's kind of what I started doing with this one but I stopped myself because it would take way too long I don't think I'd be able to finish the video before I would you know the end of May really um, and also I had already done that so I kind of wanted to look at other fish and see what else I could do and suddenly it hit me and I was like I should do a jellyfish mermaid. I've done them in the past but I haven't done one recently and the last one I did which I did make a video for I'll link it in the iCard so you know what I'm talking about was kind of like a runway uh, jellyfish inspired look where she had multiple legs instead of like the jellyfish leg thing. Um, so I wanted to do something slightly closer to the actual jellyfish. I pulled up reference and I just did my best to make it look um, as jellyfish like as possible but also still look like a mermaid and I also kind of wanted her her like bulby jellyfish head thing. I don't know what it's called <laughs> to kind of look like a dress as well. So I had a lot of fun designing her and just making her look really cute. I think this probably the biggest struggle when I did the sketching and inking was just making the bottom part like her quote unquote leg part. I don't know what the term for that part of the jellyfish body is, but I just wanted that to look like a jellyfish, but also look kind of interesting. I don't think that the jellyfish have as many of the bits as I put in for this character. I really don't know what to call it. Like, I guess tentacles, I'll call it. Um, but I wanted to add more for her just to give it kind of like more balance and kind of sem symmetry in a way. Um, and I had fun kind of just making them look kind of ribbony and also a little bit uh, frilly, um, but also look kind of like what the, the reference drawing looks like, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard to describe, but I had a lot of fun with that. When it came to the coloring, I looked up reference again and I was just trying to look for inspiration. My first idea was kind of pink, but I feel like I've done a lot of pink, especially with those Copic color things. Um, so I was trying to avoid that, but at the same time, I wanted something interesting and I kept seeing orange and blue pop up in these drawings or not drawings in these photos on Google images of jellyfish so if you just like go to Google you search jellyfish you'll see what I mean there's a lot of 
orangey jellyfish with like a dark blue or kind of a greenish background. And the color combination was just so striking to me that I wanted to use that. Um, but these are colors I don't normally reach for. Orange, warm colors in general, I don't usually reach for. They're a little bit out of my comfort zone. I would actually put the orange and the greens as my least favorite colors. <laughs> so I struggle with that like crazy. I picked out the colors. I had my plan, but as I was putting the colors down, I was not happy with how it was looking. I was not happy with the results. Um, there was definitely a big, ugly phase in this drawing. Uh, at one point I had to just kind of put it down and walk away and I started to forget more and more my original plan of using a uh, color pencil because uh, it just turned into a bigger drawing than I expected which is why I started with the marker because I was thinking if I lay down marker it'll be a lot easier and then I'll put the color pencil on top but then as I started to lay down the marker I started to get really unhappy with the colors and started to panic and went into like problem fixing mode <laughs> so I just started putting more and more marker and forgot more and more about the color pencil but um, in the end I did finish it off with a lot of color pencil I really like how the color pencil looked on this paper um, the thing that I thought was kind of funny as I was coloring I already had this idea that I wanted this kind of bluish background but I didn't really think it through and the paper is like 9 by 12 and I had to fill out the whole background with this color I think I had to refill that marker like four or five times, maybe even six times. It was crazy. But then I started to panic and I'm thinking to myself, I don't think I've ever seen anybody fill a whole page with color when they're using toned tan paper. <laughs> Normally it's just like they leave the paper visible. So I was really unsure how it was going to look in the end, if the color pencils are going to pop on the paper like it usually does, because like it's all covered with color. So will it still have that really beautiful pop that it usually has when you use the white gel pen and the color pencil on top but there's something really interesting about this paper where it just I don't know it just it feels really good when you're putting down color pencil even on top of marker and it still popped and it had this really beautiful glow when I was adding that so I was really happy at the end I really feel like I pulled it out I, I took a drawing that I was really unsure of that was giving me a lot of anxiety and I was able to get it to a point where I was really really happy in the end and I feel like I've been practicing that a lot especially in the live streams recently in the live streams I've been coloring a bunch of mermaids where I, I'd already done the line arts and the sketches last month and I've been coloring them this month um, with Copic markers on the live streams and I feel like I've been doing that a lot this month. It's like my number one practice this month for Mermaid is just learning how to problem solve on the go. Because uh, I've just been making a lot of mistakes and a lot of uh, risky moves and then not liking the results and covering it up. And in the end, I'm actually really happy with how these are turning out and they kind of go in a surprising way. And I feel like it's really, it's really good for my, my growth as an artist because I really feel like I've been practicing my problem solving skills, so. Yeah, in the end, I really like how this one came out. It turned into a much bigger illustration than I planned, but I'm really happy with how everything just turned out. I know I just said that like three times in a row, but um, I hope you guys like it too. So perhaps next time I'll try again to do a full color pencil drawing and you know explore the tone tan paper again. I think I'll definitely be doing that a lot more in the future because I did actually recently buy a couple new color pencils and a smaller tone tan sketchbooks to try out. So. I will definitely be exploring that again in the future. Hopefully I will keep on track that time. <laughs> and um, otherwise, if you want to see me do more Copic marker drawings and more mermaid drawings, then definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you ring the bell icon so that you get notified when I go live for live streams. I am going to be doing a couple more live streams before the end of May for sure. I'm even considering possibly, don't hold me to it, but I might do a really long live stream one of these days before May is over because I just really want to finish more of the mermaids that I have like ready. I've got the line arts um, ready to go and I just really want to at least finish those. I was even hoping to do a few extra but I just want to get more mermaids done before the end of May so I might do a little bit of a marathon of mermaids <laughs> coming up soon. So if you want to uh, hang out with me during that time, take part and like just chat with us, then definitely make sure you're subscribed and you ring the bell icon also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those are the two best places you can follow me to get notified when I'm about to go live. Um, and I also post like, 
you know, photos of how the drawings look before and after, and as well as the finished drawings, because uh, I usually do the final touches off camera from the live streams. So definitely follow me all those places to make sure that you are keeping up with it and see lots more beautiful mermaids there. And let me know if you are participating in Mermaid as well. What mermaids have you been drawing? Have you been enjoying it? It's so sad that it's almost over. <laughs> I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, and I'm also considering doing a book soon. I'm thinking about doing a mermaid book, like a mermaid zine or a mermaid illustration book. I'm not sure yet because I do need to research. I have no idea how to make a book, but I need to research how to do it. But I'm kind of curious if anybody be interested. So if that's something you might be interested in buying in the future, let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time. Bye.